What is on today's Honorable Ugly Couch Show? Today, Ugly Couch Show, all about Japan. You have most pretty eyes. Ha 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 ha. Oh, domo arigato. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yatta. The hell are you guys watching? Oh, hi! Welcome back to the Ugly Couch Show. This, Greetings, ladies. Yes, I am Master Torgo-san. I am Famous Paul-san. Indeed. If you guys have any guests already, this is our all-Japanese show. We yes. came out of left field with this one. I went to uh, Comic Fest last week here in Las Vegas. Hooray, Comic Fest. I Thank did not attend because I was a lazy idiot and slept in, but I heard it was awesome. Indeed. If you want to learn more about it, read the damn blog. Yeah. But... but uh, they all came out in groves. All different co comic book publishers came out for it, and uh, I, the, the Japanese ones were really, really taking me by storm. So we decided to do an all Japanese show just to show you what we do like right now. There you go. Coming out of the Japan side, Nippon for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. now I'm gonna but take it back. Before we begin, uh -oh. I have a little special thing because because you're, you're gonna love this. Oh, I, before you. Get in this. I want you to read it oh, to shoot. our viewers. What from the top? What you are drinking? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to drink Steven Seagal's Lightning Bolt. Oh, you know it. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Here's the Seagalism quote. <laughs> oh yes. Here we go. A natural energy drink, <laughs> packed with vitamins and exotic botanicals. No. And it'll break your arm in four places. It's already attacking me. <laughs> now, if you can see, you can't really see it here, but they are pre-dented by Steven Seagal here at the bottom. So. <laughs> Am I reading this right? Cordy creeps. <laughs> you are. Cordy cordyceps. Cord cord cordyceps. Coldyceps. Coldyceps. Coldyceps in every can. B vitamins. Those are supposedly good. Ginseng. Oh, don't wait till you smell it. Goji oh. berry. Goji berry. He fucking no. This is this is this not is, going to be pleasant. <laughs> this is essence of Seagal, I'm afraid. It will not be pleasant. Oh my. Dude, what's happening? Is the smell just bad? Yes. Open well, that. Have you drank it yet? No. Oh, this, this is this the first. This long lasting energy elixir is made with ingredients from all over the globe. What? Hence our Japanese show. Uh, it does have a lot of kanji on the bottle. It so. is. That's why I got it, because of the kanji. And then I saw Steven Seagal's face, and it was oh a boy. must buy. Oh boy. Must buy. All right, here we go. We're going to throw it on three. Take some good <laughs> hits. Ready? One. To Banzai! Banzai! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It looked unpleasant. <laughs> the simultaneous look on their faces. <laughs> oh, it's. Oh, it's like. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, if it's you... like someone left a grape sucker on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 This is old butt sucker. Oh no. Oh. Jeez, I'm crow. If you enjoy the taste of molasses, this is for you. I drank more of it. I drank more of it. <laughs> Uh, you have to oh, is there is there anything as, else? Not as terrible. Can someone hand me the, the lime mandarin thing that I put in there? Because I need to really get this out. <laughs> Steven Seagal's <laughs> lightning <laughs> bolt. Thank you. Thank you. Goji berry. Cordyceps. What is this? This is. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is spritzer mandarin lime. Here, what was there, hun? No, I can't. No, it's yeah. not gonna work. Wait, do you have another he's one? Gonna, yes, he's oh, gonna oh, grab oh, another oh, one. So here, this this, this one's for you. Oh, okay. Read that, Nudson. I think this is a Mr. Show thing. Uh, R. W. Nudson, spritzer, mandarin lime spritzer. Well, what's wrong with this? I I, I mean, it's gonna taste a hell of a lot better oh, than this sure. to wash it down. Oh, right. Mm. 
Oh yeah, palate cleanse. That's very nice. Thank you. That's Thank very you. Nice. Thank you, R. W. Nutson, for saving <laughs> us once nice. again. That's delicious. Mandarin lime. Find it at your local <laughs> uh, wild oats. Um, Steven Seagal. Find it at your local Walmart. Oh, is that where you got this? I did. Dollar oh. a can. <laughs> Overpaid. Oh wow. No, I don't think we did. I think that was really worth it. Sweetened with all natural imported organic evaporated cane juice crystals. <laughs> Old suckers. <laughs> That's what suckers are. Crystallized oh. sugar. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's dirty scary. bus sucker. All right, let's oh. <laughs> you, know, you don't you get it. Yeah, you're okay. Sorry. Okay. There it is. Mm. All right, thank you Steven Seagal for making us cry once me. again. I'm a I'm a rainbow warrior. <laughs> Yes. All right, it's Japan time. Hooray. You know what? I didn't even. I thought about it. I couldn't even think of a good video game that just everybody just doesn't know. So you, well, know, I know you, you know got what? something. I got it. Well, you want, you want to go for it? You go for the All video right, game. So, so everybody does know or should know. Should know. Eco. Oh hell yeah! This is very <clears throat> Japan centric game. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, still the great games that are coming out of Japan. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the the company put this together. Um, who is it? It's it's not. Now these are the same people that did Colossus, right? Yes, Shadow of the Colossus. The same guys who uh, who put uh, Shadow of Colossus. And it's terrible that I don't know. I guess the Eco team. It's not. That's not what the, the, eco, there is. Some kind of Eco. Eco. Yes. Eco. Anyway, for those of you who aren't familiar with Eco, this game is what got me to purchase a PlayStation Two back in the day. Really, this. Uh, Oh, Steven Seagal. This, uh, <laughs> this really tipped the scales. It's like a kick in the groin. <laughs> oh, it keeps coming back. <laughs> right I'll in your gut. Stop. All for you. Stop fighting your gut. <laughs> um, this uh, was cutting edge at the time. It still is pretty cutting edge. It's a fantastic story. Wonderful graphics. Amazing. Just This is an amazing... This is unique. There's no other game. Emotionally evocative on a level that few other games... Few games at all have achieved yet. This is this is that you know that old age old uh, grail of the video game that will make you cry. Yeah. This is getting close to that. Okay. And this is this has been out for a while too. This oh, is yes. I mean quite dated. The graphics are a bit dated now, but it's still good. Plays really well. It's a puzzle game in essence uh, in a lot of ways, but there's but it's an action puzzle game. Lots of fun. You're you're basically rescuing this princess from a from a castle that's uh possessed by her evil mother you're a boy who's been cursed you have horns and you've been thrown out by your village this game's great this game is great this is what yeah. this was the first last generation next generation title that i saw that really made me go wow look what's coming with video games yeah, yeah. All you Sony heads, you've known this for a while. So you guys that you know who doesn't have PlayStation 2, but if you don't and if you do have what don't have this, shame on you fix it. Mhm. Mm yeah. And you can find this. This is out there. I think yeah. it might even be a greatest hit at this point. I'm not sure. It might be. But uh, you can pick it up. Bing ding. Uh -oh. Indeed. What was that? I don't know. That's Something love and love. Ding 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 ding. I think that's Steven Seagal calling us <clears> to <throat> say, "How dare you talk about my Why drink?" Don't you just like shut up and drink. All right. My Dirty bus sucker. Well, I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna go to the books. I'm gonna show you what I fell in love with at the Comic Fest. All right. Please. Two things. First off, the first one is from Go Komi. Now, boy, is this pink! Wow. Yes, it is called Japan Ai, A Tall Girl's Adventures in Japan. It's set up as kind of a sketchbook. All the way through, it's about a a. In, it's, it's a true really? story. It's a travel log. What is what it is. And it's this girl who's always wanted to go to Japan. She collects these very valuable, um, very rare Japanese dolls. And she finally gets to go to Japan. And it's about her exploring all the cultural things she heard about. The maid-themed cafes. The, uh, the going through the subway. The, so she the, goes to kind of just see all these myths. Yes, the uh, dressing up as, as a geisha for the pictures and so on. Even though she's mm -hmm. you know, six feet tall. They don't have any costumes her size. But uh, if you ever were curious about, you've heard about all the different pop culture things that happen in Japan, uh, whether it's the vending machines, or she goes to, at this point to this uh, costume shop, and you know the the, or the place where all the kids all dress up in their own, not so much cosplay, but close to it. Mm -hmm. And she ends up going to this shop and read to buy this guy in a dress, and it turns out it's not really a cosplay shop at all. It's kind of creepy, but it's cool. And oh. and even though it is geared toward females in general, note the pink. If you've ever been interested in Japan this is pop great, culture, dude. this is great. This I'm just checking is this out. 
This is you will love. You will love this. I love. I already love reading yes. like three pages. I love so, it. So, by Amy Major Steenberger, she is an animator. And this is what she did. But she made this little travel log for wonderful. us. This is wonderful. Check it out. I really can't. I, I finished it the other day. I literally did it in two days. And yeah, it looks like here and there. Good. But great idea. If you love the pop culture, go for it. Awesome. Now, I've also got this here. This is by Yen Press called With the Light. It's the first volume, note the thickness, of a five volume series. And this is a prime example of. The mangas that are have nothing to do with robots, fantasy, horror, giggling schoolgirls. This is straight up drama. This is a manga about raising an autistic child. Wow! And it is in the. This is a huge hit in Japan. It's already been finished there, of course. And Yen is just bringing it to us now. But I can't say how much this shows comics as literature. Really. Now, how many volumes is this going to have? It's going to be five volumes. And I'm already, this is a monster piece of, of work. I'm about a third of the way through it, and I'm entranced by it. It is straight-up drama, and it's not, really not, nothing you can get here in the States. It shows just how widespread that manga is in Japan, the different topics they cover, and the fact that it's just plain for everybody. It is not comics there. It is literature. Well, now, I mean, that's... And this... We're having some of that. We're, we're start, Yeah, we're starting slowly. to see a little bit here and there, Again, a little blankets bit. Blankets and a couple other really great... You know, yeah, you, you, but even Blankets, that's not even... that that, that That's not even a, a manga property. <clears throat> no, I mean, it's... it's but, yeah, we have... American, we have this, American comics. Yeah, I mean, there is Day in the Life stuff. But it's not as... But this is typical in Japan. Wow. Whereas, you know, here, manga means, you know, robots, girls, and well, I definitely, horror, fantasy, sci-fi. I sci definitely want to check this out because, uh, yeah, I mean, autism I mean, if, is, is becoming really a, a fact of our lives. I mean, two, yeah, Do we, you know, Jeff's nephew, Jeff's got a nephew, one out of every, one or two out of every thousand one people born has it. Yeah, it's, one, it's one out of, yeah, this is one out of every thousand, but maybe that's Japan. That could be Japanese ratio, but yeah, it's it's becoming almost epidemic. And this this this, this is teaching me more about autism than I have from any other piece of media I've ever encountered. Wow! I, I, you, the only way you'd learn more about it is if you actually got a book from Barnes and Noble about autism. We got to get this in Oprah's hands. Yeah, she'd love it. Yep, we are Oprah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So that's we this is what this is this is what I brought back. So Yen Press, Go Comey, thank you for putting these things out because we didn't know about them and we ah. love them. Thank you. More. Did you just drink it again? What are you drink? doing? Because it's just, I don't know. Anyway, okay. Uh, what, <laughs> what else is that? Is that all right? That's what I brought book wise. Show okay. me, show me, show me how you do that trick. All right, you want me to do some books, or should I go... G go give me a book. Give me a book, because right. I only brought one movie. Well... And just to counterbalance the nice softness <laughs> I brought. All right, well, my books have to do with my movie. I'll talk about my softness. Last week, I talked to you a little bit about Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh, my God. This is my here favorite thing in the world. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look, right. I, yeah, here we go. Nerve. Um... I love Evangelion so much. I've gone to crazy lengths. I have statues, action figures, Kubricks, wall scrolls, tissue paper. I love Evangelion. What gets more love, Evangelion or Street Fighter? Evangelion. Oh, there it is. Barely. Here it is. Now. It's, it's close, but Evangelion is my... Evangelion is, is just, it's just hit me in a, in a way that's just... Street Fighter. Uh, Here's Evangelion. Yeah, it's true. Evangelion is way off the charts for me. Let me just could show you the, the levels on that. So <laughs> here's volume 10 of the, of the manga ad adaptation of the Neon Genesis Evangelion saga. So now, this is an adaptation of the... Of the movie. Okay. Uh, of, or the, the, the anime, uh, which also has some, some films to it. But anyway, so this is volume 10 is what they're only up to right now in the States. There's a couple more volumes still to be published. And it's way, they're way behind. They're yeah. way behind. This is the second time I have purchased the Neon Genesis Evangelion manga as the first edition was bigger and did not print in the wonderful uh, left to right style Let me get, okay. that is appropriate. So this, is, this has been translated more accurately. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes. You re-bought this because it was not in the traditional manga left to right yes. to left form. Yes. Now, true nerddom say, right here. I say on top. Right well, I mean, they, this, they, this is they didn't fandom. Have this fandom. They didn't right have here. the version out yet. 
They didn't have this version out yet, so I bought what was available. Now, I passed on the love. I gave my eight volumes that I had at that point to uh, another friend who loves this And that's good anyway. looking at. So that's good, you know. But uh, no, I had to go back and rebuy these. So I'm up to 10. Hopefully the rest will be forthcoming soon. There may, 11 may be on the way really soon. I'm not even sure uh, for sure, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to come. But eventually they'll, they'll finish that. And then uh, on a little side note, this is a new series. I haven't even uh, started reading this one yet, but this is Neon Genesis Evangelion Angelic Days. And essentially, the story, revol the story of Evangelion revolves around school children uh, who were all born around the same time. So they're all like uh, 13, 14 years old. And uh, this is kind of a retelling, just as this is a retelling of the, of the anime, and it has a little more expansion. Like, like sure. The manga is always great. Tell me about Royale did. Exactly. Expands, goes in a little bit more depth, a little bit different angle sometimes. You can learn a little bit more about things here and there. Uh, questions get answered here and there. This just kind of takes a different twist on it and focuses more on them as actual school children having a life with this other life like okay. right alongside. So like, you know, Rayanami would never smile like that. Uh, <laughs> so it's just kind of it's just kind of bizarre, but it's all the same characters, just a slightly different skew on it all. Uh, so that's it's just kind of another that's the, that's kind of the hallmark of Evangelion. It is ripe for for a myriad of interpretations. Mm -hmm. Everybody will come to this work and get something and you can take away something different. And that's just a sign of great writing. I love great it. Great I love story. It. I mean, you can, you can. Well, I mean, not. I don't know about the books per se. I mean, it's <laughs> another interpretation. But this could be something completely different. But the work itself, the the Evangelion itself. There, I mean, you know, it starts. Well, we'll get into it soon. But yes, it, yeah, I have just, a feeling we will. One of many, one of many interpretations. Not you know, not even scratching the surface with all the uh, the fan service stuff and and the. Uh, uh, you know the fan created. Well, get that away! I'm not drinking yours too. <laughs> I'm barely drinking mine. Um, don't, come on, don't, come on. Don't, what? Come on, come no, on, don't go. do this to let's me. Go. I had to do this in the fourth grade. I puked yes. then. I'll puke yes. now. There you go. Just look. I don't want. Oh god. It gets a little. Come on. Isn't yeah, that's bad. Drink that smells so bad. It could be. Oh god. It's gross, isn't it? It's gross. <laughs> yes, it was gross the first time. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. What, you haven't had any? You're going to try it? No. Oh, you're going to throw just, it away? Just you're it. taking them away? Yes. You need no. to try it first. Yep, wait, wait. Yep. Yeah, get, here we go. 80s yeah, Jeff. Samples. Sample. 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 Here we go. Down the hatch. I'll do another one with you. There, there it is. Here it is. Oh, but do ding a he dando. Wow. That is, that is something fiercely that awful. That is some mm -hmm. weird, wild Gross, stuff. All right, get out of here. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, 80s Toxic Jeff. Toxic Avenger. He's <laughs> getting our crap away from us. <laughs> Indulging. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Barry. Try some. Try some, Barry. What is this? This is brand new Skittles chocolate mix. Oh my God, they made chocolate Skittles. Damn it, Skittles. Yes, get in there. Get some of that. Okay. Oh my Girl. God, that's too many. You know, there's no such thing. <laughs> you got vanilla. You got chocolate caramel, chocolate pudding, brownie batter, s'mores. Barry trying the drink and making the best face ever. This is, should be captured. It this. tastes like vomit. Okay, listen. Go to our website when you see the the who we are little tab. You know about us. Go down to Barry, and that's what he looked like right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, that's just it. Not pretty good. That's not bad. I don't like... Mm. It's it's like reminds it's me a, of a Tootsie Roll Pop. It's fake chocolate. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll Pop. It's fake chocolate. Tootsie Roll caramel. It's chocolatey. Because it tastes right. like, you know, the chocolate of a Tootsie Roll with, okay. with the Tootsie Roll candy outside. So, Skittles, thanks for bringing us back to Tootsie Roll. It's not bad. I'm tasting the brown rainbow. <laughs> you've been you've been doing that for years. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on, move on to movies. Unless you got another book, I got movies. All right, we're this going to it. movies. Okay, this, this is we're rolling to movies. The, the final bit. Okay, since I gave you soft and cuddly, deep drama, you know, I had to on my movie go to the far other side of the Japanese spectrum and bring you. Ichi the Killer. Ichi the Killer, number this one. Is the film, this is the film that when they debuted at the Toronto Film Festival, they handed out barf bags. All right. This is over-the-top gore, nasty, 
Dark, Miike. dark comedy. Yes, Takashi Miike. This is the film. He's done many films. Most uh -huh. of them all not that great. However, this one is still really, when it comes down to it, not all that great. No. But it's so over the top. Mm -hmm. This is where you get all your friends yeah. together. All right. It's a Yakuza story. It is kind of a superhero-ish story. It's crazy. But when you watch it the first time, you're not going to believe. You're going to say, what the hell did I just see? Yeah. All, and, and then when you go back through it, you're gonna, still going to say the same damn thing. Now, not to... Look, can, we, can we get a shot of the... Okay, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show it. So this is not the, uh, this is not the main... This is not the. This is not Ichi. This is not Ichi. This is the head of the yakuza. Mm -hmm. Well, becomes the head during. And you this can movie. see how he's got this mouth slit thing going on. Now, I think this is probably the main inspiration for Heath Ledger's Joker. It could very well be the look of Heath Ledger, Ledger's Joker. May he rest in peace. Just, just a feel. Absolutely, yeah. in good call. Very sad, but there it is. But I, but, but yeah, I think yes. that's where they got. Because yeah, you uh, see no that one, similarity. You no do. One took that you really from do. That. Yeah, I mean, or well, I should say. This took from the Joker and just kind of expanded on it. It's a, a sick grin. Yeah, but based on the manga, and really, uh, Mike has done many things since, but this is still what I think the, the most amazing thing that he's done. Maybe Audition's the only one that's really better. This is one of those things that you watch it and you're like, you what? you got to see it oh. again. And uh, let, me, let me just, to give you a clue of what you're getting into when you see it, the semen scene... They use real semen from three different cast members, not cast members, but crew members, in order to do that for the scene because the director couldn't get enough from himself. Let that be a All warning right. to you before you jump into That's this movie. That's how the film opens up, basically. All so right. if you have any, sque any squeamishness about it before... Oh, within well, the first five minutes, you'll is, know whether or not you can handle this it movie. It is one of the most shocking, foul things ever put to celluloid, but it's amazing. But Japanese... Thank you for bring, showing us that Americans are not the most depraved filmmakers true. on the planet. Yeah, thank you. It's great. Great movie. Crazy movie. All right. Stick that up here within the light. Are you ready? <laughs> this is it. Oh, it's, you know what it is. You know it. Coming surprise, into it. Surprise, surprise. This is the Neon Genesis Evangelion Platinum Edition. I have purchased this anime series <laughs> no. three times. Nerd! I bought it once on VHS. I bought it a second time on DVD. Nerd. And now I have purchased it yet a third time in the Platinum Edition DVD, which has been cleaned up, given full 5.1 channel surround sound and new color to remixed um, director's cut episodes. I haven't even finished opening all that. I've only watched the first three. Uh, I haven't even, because I've seen it so many times, and I just I, one of these days I'm going to get around to watching it again. But it's a... It's a 13-hour epic. Do you know there are hour. kids in Benin, in Africa, that have not seen the first ones that you threw away? I didn't what throw them away. He still owns them. I didn't throw No, I gave them away. I, I <laughs> sold them or gave them away. I gave away or sold. I didn't give them away. What are you talking about? I destroy. I've never destroyed never anything. Never destroyed. No, it's... The what? Look. Anyway. Kids starving for anime. I want to thank... I want to send a big thank you to my good friend Doug who actually provided me with the box. Is when this first came out, I did not buy the box that comes with the first video. I bought the first video in a different place and I already had it and I didn't have the box. Doug was kind enough to give me the box because he knows how deep my love runs. So now I, I've completed my collection and I have them all in the beautiful box. Now, of course, just two weeks ago, they came out with, well, first of all, I, bought, I got these at a <laughs> pretty penny. Of course. And, you know, about 20-something about a pop. Right. And uh, so that runs you. And then they just came out with a new Slim Pack edition. So it's half this size, okay. less than okay. half this size, and for 60 bucks for the whole deal. Oh, wow. So go out and get it. Slim Number Pack one. all go the way. Go out and get the Slim yeah. Pack. But just two weeks ago, they came out with this again, not in Slim Pack per se, kind of Slim Pack, but in a metal case. The collector in me screams Give when I three see weeks. that. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's another eighty bucks. I'm not. No, I've got it. This is all I need. I got five dollars. Uh, uh, he's gonna buy it. No, I won't. <laughs> That'll be the fourth time I purchase it, and I don't. I can't buy it again because I know. First of all, they're working on remaking it again. They're retelling it. Like I said, it's always open to new interpretation. Right, right, right. It is. They're gonna remake it in a into a four film series. For real? Yeah. Live so it's action? It's going to become eight out. No. 
Oh, okay. New retake in the... In the wow. The first one was already came out in Japan, but uh, we'll it should be it in soon. the States soon. Yeah. Didn't Jim Cameron buy the live action rights to that? Did Jim Cameron buy those rights? I don't know if Jim Cameron bought the live action rights, but if you're terribly interested, check out the director's... Terribly <laughs> the interested. <director's laughs> Weta Workshops. Ah, oh, yeah. that's all you got to say. The guys behind all Lord of the, the Rings. Weta, go get it. They him. were working on the production, the pre-production prototype stuff for a proposed live-action Evangelion translation. This would be like bringing the Iliad to the screen. Don't even try. <laughs> oh, bullshit! Don't give me your lip, Barry Rob. Bullshit! Barry Rob is a hater when it comes to Evangelion. And I will say this, this is a very divisive title. There are people within the anime community who are like, mm -hmm. yeah, just like me. And then there's people who are like, it's vapid, it's empty, it's na na na. I've never seen it. You get, you get, you take away from it what you put in, kind of. I really think so. You know, for me, it okay. just it touches a nerve. These are the two films that complete this this series. You have to get these to find to finish it all out. Neon Genesis Evangelion: Death and Rebirth, which is sort of just a recap. You wouldn't even have to go with this one. No, you must see Neon Gen Genesis Evangelion: The End of Evangelion, which uh, which summarizes, is the end. This is the end. Okay. Uh, oh God. Huge fervor. Fervor. This is Hideaki Anno, okay. the genius director behind the series. Uh, I have here, uh, this is a little, a little thing I, I printed off for myself. This is a little extra, that, extra DVD that came with a magazine that was called Anime Play, which lasted for all of about five issues, maybe. You know those kind of magazines. Uh, but anyway, this issue, they got on here, Hideaki Anno, director of Evangelion, teaching a class in simple an uh, animation That's to cool. uh, school kids. And it's so cool, so revealing. And it's wonderful. It talks about a little bit about his film theory and all this kind of thing. Like I said, you don't, don't talk to me about Evangelion if you want an objective opinion, because I don't have one. For me... It's, it's like me and you know, Freddie, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. So here's a, quote from, from, uh, here's a quote from Anno himself, the director. Let me make sure I can read this fully. I have this thing in here a little bit. Okay. The quote. This is his, this is his, his quote. Evangelion is like a puzzle, you know? Any person can see it and give his, her own answer. In other words, we're offering viewers to think, for them, to think by themselves so that each person can imagine his, her own world. We will never offer the answers, even in the, the theatrical version. As for many Evangelion viewers that may expect us to provide the all about Ava manuals, there really is no such thing. Don't expect to get answers by someone. Don't expect to be catered to all the time. We all have to find our own answers. Which makes Barry angry. But yes. anyway... Barry doesn't want to work for his literature. You really do have to work. And, but that, that, this is what I said. You, you'll, you'll get out what you bring in, kind of. Uh, or you might hate it. It mm -hmm. starts off as a, a giant robot anime. And then it turns into this wonderful deconstructive investigation of the nature of self, the nature of identity. It comes down to... That's... Now you're talking my language. It comes down to a point where, all right, we realize that we as individuals are in many ways shaped and created, almost, by the opinions of others. Yes. Granted? Granted. Okay. But that shaping and that being informed by, by the views and opinions and, and, and other people seeing you is a very painful process. Or yeah, can be. Can be. Can be. It is, so it comes down to, do you open yourself to that process and engage fully in the world? Or do you try and cut yourself off from that? Combat it. And c fight it and find the self without influence or reflection from others. I choose is, door number two. Well, I mean, is that self even valid? That's the other part. That's the other thing, too. God, I love that shit. Is that self even <laughs> even real? What, how can we possibly know ourselves if not through interaction, if not through painful connections, loves, hurts, loss? Forgive him. He now, ate, meanwhile, he, Barry's up there acting the fool. He ate the Zen book from last week. I did. I did. Well, no, but I mean, I, well, that's why I love that book too. Is it, I mean, but that's Evangelion. Is just, now, all that being said, this is a kick-ass, 
awesome robot fighting, <laughs> blood shooting, girls showing panty, awesome anime. This is great. There are some action sequences in this that will have your jaw on the floor. On the floor! There's this whole government conspiracy to engineer the end of the world so that that communion of souls can happen artificially. It's got influences from Kabbalistic religion. It's, man, you can read into this thing for days. Days. There are books. There are theories. Want it's, some? Get some. Man, it's been studied. It's going to be studied more and more and more as we go along. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, I've, I, anyway, I've said my piece. Please, please, if you have the slightest interest in animation, or, you know, the kind of funky ideas I was just talking about, do yourself a favor. Pick up Neon Genesis Evangelion. You can even order it through Blockbuster, I believe. Uh, like, if you have their online service. But Netflix, I'm sure, has it. Watch it. Yeah, gets it. Get some of that. Watch it. All right. It's the greatest thing ever. Well, that's our trip around Japan. Or at least around Evangelion, because this thing is so big it has its own gravitational pull. It's true. So, we'll see you next time on the Ugly Couch Show, where we're going to talk about... Well, it's, it's, it's love time. We're getting close to Valentine's Day, so let's talk about what to get your geek, or in, in Jeff's case, what to hate. So see you next week on the Ugly Couch Show. I'm Master Torgo. I'm the ugly, I'm the ugly Paul. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Keep your couch ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara.